Vulcan viewers. This is Winch here. Hope you enjoy the opening montage. We got to give the Trench Raider another shot there. I had to put that back in. I felt sorry for that guy. But let's start off the video here with a survivability tip. If you recall, uh, my videos have always kind of uh, showcased these clips. But whenever you're facing an armada, a, a whole battalion of enemies in front of you, throw out a few shots here. Know you're quickly outnumbered. Take cover. I'm already hurt. Lucky to survive that engagement thanks to Net's code. And uh, how many times have you ever used this tactic? Employing the shadow giveaway of your opponent. I can see a shadow approaching this wall due to the light background being low in cover. I use that to my advantage. Now I'm going to repeat that tactic again and now go on the offensive side of that using their shadow as a, as a cue. Round that corner, know exactly when they're going to be there and get a collab there with the pistol auto revolver. Pretty good kills there. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull off the third kill, but uh, nonetheless... Uh, more, more, more times than often or not, I think you would have uh, died had you not used those tactics. So just a little quick tip there as we start into the video here with the Selbs Ladder 1916 Marksman uh, variant in the Medic class weapon review. This is a weapon I have a lot of kills with. I've racked them up very quickly. And in my opinion, this is the best Medic rifle. I know there's a lot of vids out there about people talking about what's the best gun in this class and that class you know we all know Westy good youtuber uh, but I have to disagree with him on his uh, assessment of the Fedorov being the best weapon in the meta class because I've used them both extensively I have well over a thousand kills with the Fedorov probably 2,000 I don't know but this weapon the self slatter is unbelievable arguably arguably the best weapon in the game right now um, post patch uh, since they buffed the medic class accuracy in the latest uh, patch this is essentially a 40 damage uh, gun I, I believe up to about 40 meters and it drops off to 35 damage at that point it really doesn't matter what the damage is just bear in mind this weapon is essentially a three shot kill at just about most engagement ranges occasionally you can pull off a two shot kill with it depending if you get a headshot or not but I count on this weapon being a very reliable, spammable weapon and a three-shot kill with 26 rounds in the magazine. I mean, that's an incredible amount of killing potential you have with one magazine. I routinely dropped four to five guys comfortably without having to reload and still having enough killing potential for a couple more players after that. There's not many weapons, not even LMG weapons, that can boast that level of killing potential in their uh, in their 30 round magazine clips uh, on the smaller LMG. Uh, obviously, the slower, uh, smaller magazine uh, LMG weapons, obviously. But medic, this this weapon, in my opinion, has the most killing. Well, it's a fact. This weapon has most killing potential in its magazine. And the range potential this weapon is incredible. I love the optics. Uh, I, I've always loved optic weapons in this game. I stay away from my such as much as I can. So I, I feel like you're playing with a handicapped without using some kind of magnification. Now, don't give yourself an extreme handicap by playing with an optic that has like a four times zoom. Taper it down to two, two and a half, and I think that's the, the Goldilocks zone for any. Oh, how did I? How do I avoid that roadkill? Uh, that's the Goldie, Goldilocks zone for any uh, optic weapon zoom. I don't think you need anything more about two, two and a half times in Battlefield 1. And uh, I mean, just storming the pill here. I mean, this guy going prone, the tree dropping on my teammate here. Just narrowly avoided the roadkill death earlier. Now I'm using the tree cover to my advantage here, dropping just multiple guys. Look at this. I mean, beast mode is on 24-7 with this gun. Look at the feed. Oh, the sub slider, <laughs> and then you get pwned by random gas, you know, on the wear. 45 and 5 at this point in the game. All these uploads you're seeing, guys, these are just highlights of, of various matches. And I'll tell you right now, I was MVP probably every match that uh, all these gameplay came from. Big time scores, 50 plus uh, kill scores in Conquest games. Sometimes I was approaching 70 kills. I don't know, some matches. I mean, just being a force to contend with i mean uh, you can take you can challenge anybody with this class as you saw in the opening montage just i mean down in the trenches just cleaning out trenches of, of masses of enemies just 
literally just cutting like a knife through hot butter through one enemy after another after another after another and it's like turning around 360 take another guy out guy jumping over the trench take him out close range again this weapon it's good at everything and this auto rifle too i mean call it call it cheeky if you want laying down your belly there that's a good tactic getting off your vertical signature reducing your vertical profile I mean, that's what this game's about. I mean, at those moments right there in that clip, I mean, this encapsulated what what's best about this game. And, and this, this game is just true in its form. I always have to tout this every video, video guys. Still hands down the best first-person shooter out there. And like I said, Titanfall 2 uh, as the close second to this. Uh, but this game, just, I, I really think that they, they just hit it out of the park with Battlefield 1. I just love the immersion factor of the game. The, you know, keeping your head on a swivel, a lot of action, a lot of fast-paced action nature of the gameplay, but they're still, you know, using your wits about you. Here, I, I, in this clip, I just had to put it in. It's not really a self slider clip, but I'm just surrounded. Look at the mini-map. This lit up like a Christmas tree, but, you know, trying to use my weakness to my advantage here and kind of pull back and, and just, you know, force the enemy to come through these choke points here and gives me a kill skin. Oh, with the freaking wine bottle glass that guy comes right on top of me get shanked son <laughs> game over and i got the gas out here got my mask on again let's go try to pull down as many kills as i can because i'm obviously <laughs> outgunned here in a big big way and i got a little too aggressive there at the end i, sh I probably should just kept doubling down on what i was doing there's a good tactic let me survive just a little bit longer and take a few guys down with me uh, but those kind of you know zerg attacks on you are just they're just wholly satisfying this game lots of fun there, again, there's another marksman, a service star. I don't know how many of them I have already. It's I, I don't really check my stats much, but I know I got a lot of kills with this gun. And my friend Righty that I'm playing with here, you see some good teamwork with him in a clip coming up with that he's playing with me in this match. He's in agreement. He's a scout master. He's number one in the world with the number three revolver. And uh, big uh, martini guy, good good player all around. You'll see him just murk a guy here in a clip following up uh, with that martini. But he's in agreement with me. He's a he's a very experienced Battlefield player and as well Battlefield 1 player. And he agrees that this self slider is, uh, in, in his opinion as well, arguably the best gun in the game right now. Um, and I don't see a whole lot of people using it. And again, there's several variants of the gun. If you don't want the optic, you can, you can opt to not have the optic. Again, I think you're playing at, at a disadvantage there, and I think I'll have an advantage against you if you don't. But hey, if, if it works for you to take the optic off, go ahead. Uh, but I'm just saying this this weapon has multiple variants that you can explore. But the main thing is is just this magazine clip is insane. I mean, 26 rounds in, in that size of a... I mean, I don't even know if that's... <laughs> that doesn't seem very legit to me, but um, I mean, maybe this gun really was around in World War One. I. I don't know, but I, I find it hard to believe he had a weapon uh, with this kind of uh, uh, basically uh, damage output potential with that many uh, rounds in, in the magazine. But I think that's the greatest strength of the weapon, and that and has damage output. It's just, I mean, there's so many other weapons, a medic that I've used that just, you know, they're kind of good in their little niche places, you know, like Fedorov's really good at close quarters and such, but. Uh, you really find just how inaccurate a lot of weapons are, how substandard they are at kind of being the Swiss cheese or Swiss army knife of all weapons uh, capabilities. I mean, some are really good in close quarters or maybe just real good at medium range or some are just really good extreme long range. But nothing really fills the void of all those weapons. And I think this is where this weapon can really say it truly is the most effective weapon at, at, at all instances. I'm not saying maybe super close quarters that, you know, you're, this is going to be your go-to gun, but I'm just saying you can count on it reliably for when you get in those predicaments where somebody catches you off guard, and as I've shown many times in this gameplay, a lot of guys maybe run up in me close quarters. I can still more often than not even drop assault players if I get the drop on them or perhaps suppress them a little bit or get their aim off or just take advantage of, of their over aggressiveness a lot of times you can get yourself out of the predic predicaments where this weapon may not necessarily be designed to uh, be the most effective uh, in certain situations but it will still carry you like in positions like this again cypher poor cypher man this guy you're getting tea bags <laughs> so many times in my gameplay i've just farming kills off this guy but again I mean, he has this overpowered SMG right now, arguably, you know, the, the new hell rig of them all. The SMG, was it the 18 factory, G18? Here, I'm just trying to get out of here and pull one more kill. I was trying to run that core, but I knew I was getting chased down, but uh, that was a good clip nonetheless. But again, a good example of how this marksman, cell splatter marksman, can go up against uh, even some of those OP guns in the game right now. Now, um, this map, again, a huge big open map. I call it the Rosebush map. I mean, it's just... 
one of these maps a lot of people don't like, but this is, again, I think this is where this weapon is really going to shine because it allows you to really uh, use this, um, you know, the magnification capability of this weapon to drop a lot of guys at kind of longer ranges. And you can also challenge uh, snipers as well. Look at these guys rolling up in the wheel of death here, and, uh, you know, they're going to pay a price for um, being tools as I take out, I think, both guys here. Looks like it. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Somebody's calling me, and uh, I'm sure it's a uh, telemarker. Look okay, at parachuting down. Nope. No. Nope. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that's got to hurt. Again, uh, the accuracy of this weapon is it's just so impressive to me. You can spam it. Although, I, th I do find it to be a little more effective when you kind of taper your shots and uh, you know, give your, your weapons recoil a moment to... Uh, wind down and adjust that way you can compensate but again the recoil on this weapon as you can see is is quite um, it, it, it's very negligible um, it's it's predictable it's not like a lot of these uh, side to side recoil can just really bring a weapon to its knees but this weapon again no problem at all well, how much damage was it doing there at that range 33 it looked like I, I can't quite see with the, the, the uh, resolution here in the replay but again yeah, just dropping guys. That's all you do. You know, standing still. There's three more right there. Just quick three kills. Pushing up here, being aggressive. I'm kind of at a vulnerable spot here. I don't like to sit on top of hills too much because you tend to be sniper bait. So you see me using my gameplay. I'll pick off a few guys and then move on, reassess, take cover. See a lot of dead players here around me, so I know I'm in trouble here. But now this is where I'm just trying to use terrain to my advantage. Peek cautiously when I can. Put out a few shots. To pull back. Notice there's a artillery truck right there. I know it's not a good position to be in, but I have some assault players supporting me as well. But I'm going to take cover here, reassess. Again, trying to stay a low profile. I know there's snipers up here in the B position with um, an elevation advantage here. I'm still taking fire again. I'm pulling back, get, using this foliage to my cover, putting out some health. Again, I'm still taking fire. So again, moving again. It's about being mobile. I'm going to try to take out as many guys as I can and take out one more here. And I think I'm going to get plinked off here by one of these snipers here in a moment as I'm trying to <laughs> trying to spam my run button and somehow getting my buttons switched or I don't know what happened there, but it kind of impeded my ability to run. Again, I'm going to pop over this ridge here, see a couple targets out in front of me, and just show how many rounds are in this magazine and how it just allows you to keep pushing through uninterrupted and slicing through the team. And just being smart about picking off. I mean, it's a good position, good flanking position here. I mean, granted, a lot of these guys aren't shooting at me, but it just shows you how you can take out guys like this. Again, I'm not hitting these guys. There's two. I'm just looking for one more hit. One more hit. There it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, three hits, you win. I mean, that's how many guys I just dropped in one magazine before I reloaded again. And then you're just just a constant threat to this team. I mean, at range like this, I mean, this just, it's just ravaging this weapon. It's insatiable. Uh, I just don't see many weapons that can have this kind of capability. And that guy got lucky with a sniper helping him out the last minute. Um, just aggressive gameplay. That's how I like to play in this game. I love just to uh, just run at the enemy team and or flank as much as I can. Uh, be smart about about where I'm approaching from. Again, what weapon I'm using, what loadout I'm using. But I'm confident, more often than not, that this weapon I'm going to have the tactical advantage against most enemies as long as I'm uh, positioning myself. You know, at maximum effectiveness. You know, that's what you have to do in this game is just maintain that situational awareness, know where the team is, know how you want to approach that threat, and how you're going to eliminate it in the most effective, low-key manner. That the worst thing you can do is is try to be uh, very noisy in this game. In other words, just uh, being reckless in how you approach a target or a threat, throwing a lot of rounds out there, not really killing anything, just drawing attention to yourself. I'm guilty of it, particularly when I'm running support. Um, whenever you're engaging a target, you want to make sure that you're going to actually eliminate it because more often than not, if you don't, they're going to turn around and spot you and then you're going to have uh, a problem. Because the moment you're spotting this game, more often than not, your survivability is going to go down exponentially at any given moment. So uh, I'm always cautious about when I'm going to pull that trigger um, until I'm confident I'm going to get a kill. And this is a good position here. As you can see, I'm picking off guys underneath this bridge, which they, they tend to be like little... Um, little rats in a hold, <laughs> always hiding up in there. It's a it's a cluster. I hate this position, Charlie. So I always try to keep my distance as much as I can. But a lot of times, or not, you can capitalize on a lot of players. 
uh, camping out underneath there. And again, that's a position where I was getting perpendicular. You see a lot of these clips, I'm always perpendicular to my enemy as much as I can, or, or ideal case, 180 degrees behind them. But I never try to engage enemies head on if I can. Uh, that's a last case scenario as much as I can, because more often than not, you just might get, uh, uh, you can just, you know, the threat level is just so much higher in those predicaments. Right here, that guy caught me off guard. I was forced to engage him head on. But really try to stay away from head on engagements as much as you can in this game. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer. Uh, but a lot of times I see gameplay of people just being overly aggressive and just kind of throwing themselves um, in, in predicaments where they don't necessarily need to be. I don't know if you saw the kill a second ago. I mean, I think it looked like a lot of blood splatter coming out of there. Did they tone up the gore in this game or something? Man, it's it's a pretty good clip. Again, here a guy rode up here with the MP18. Still managed to drop him there with that self slider. So it's still capable of going up against those uh, those horrendously challenging uh, assault rifles, even head-to-head -head engagements if you get caught in a pinch. So these last few clips here I'll wrap up um, uh, were pretty good clips as well. Um, I like this map as well. I, just, I love this desert environment. I wish we had a few maps like this. The coloring is good. Um, I like the time of day. I, I really hate dark maps. So I try to stay away from them. and um, I just feel like I play better when the, the map is bright and I can see everything around me. Although some of these players with their brown uniforms tend to blend in. Um, but again, just chewing through enemies here, taking cover when I can, putting on the offensive fire. I mean, this, I mean you can see... More often than not, this weapon is just so capable of dropping mass quantities of enemies, and it's just incredible to me that this effectiveness of this weapon now post post launch or post patch that is. Get here in the LMG. I, I couldn't help but uh, help myself here. I love to get these moments where you kind of have a lot of enemy players out there, and they don't expect many guys to do this. Uh, the blast shields on these. Machine guns really kind of give you tunnel vision. You really can't see peripherally you know, what left or right is. So kind of forced to swing around, and you're typically sniper bait. But sometimes, you know, this is a tactic I don't see many people do either. Just don't forget these things are out there. You can fire a long time with these, put out a lot of damage before uh, they overheat. Here I kind of lost uh, uh, my positioning and really didn't check my, my my six too much. I should have watch that right flank a little bit more because they're spawning right here to my right but again this elevation advantage is where this weapon is going to shine uh it really allow you to um, drop lots of guys if if you're you know unchallenged that is so um that kind of wraps up this video guys i'll, I'll let these last two clips pan out the pretty good clips kind of save you know like i do um the best for last just in terms of um, kind of raw and unedited gameplay just highlights of that but I just really feel like you guys should try this weapon. I hope you maybe will take that into consideration now after having watched this video. I really hope you enjoyed that montage in the beginning too. I felt like that was one of my better ones. Did you see that clip there where I was shooting at the guy he laid down prone? I played it twice, kind of at the climax of the montage. But I must have hit some kind of explosive at the base of the guy that I killed first. I was laying prone. And it set it off and it took out the guy running next to him in this kind of epic explosion as an airplane flew overhead. Again, moments like that, this, that's why I put in those montages, guys. I mean, I, I work hard on these videos. It takes a lot of time to do it. Um, I do just because I enjoy it. I like to share my gameplay with you. But that's the kind of stuff I really enjoy this game. And I hope that shines through when I produce those montages. Um, just to kind of encapsulate those those moments uh, time to time. Um, just again, I, I just love this game. It's a great game. A lot of fun playing. I enjoy playing um, as much as I can. And it's just satisfying again when you use tactics to your advantage. You know your weapon strengths and weaknesses, and uh, you position yourself where you're, you're going to have the advantage in eliminating threats. And, and uh, uh, that, that kind of threat management is what I, I enjoy about this game. <laughs> and uh, I just think it's a good real one polished solid shooter out there and uh, I think we should give it more credit than uh, that a lot of people do deserve pull off that nice that was a headshot the guy's helmet popping off it's, look at this gr grenade just flip, dropping right at my feet just man that was rough good grenade throw it forced me to get out of that that area and uh, <laughs> there's a wine bottle Killian but uh, you find a lot of good players in this game players that really know what they're doing um, I really like just kind of being challenged back on my heels sometime having to think quickly on the fly you know, it's a lot of guys out here again try to take cover back in this building because why would you want to shoot when you're exposed when you can shoot pull back in a building have cover and shoot outside a cover building again it's give you much more chance of surviving as this guy's almost pulling me up but again just shows you this weapon's offensive capability when it's even receiving fire will often output any any challenger out there even when they're shooting at you and suppressing you so 
Uh, one more clip after this, guys. Again, just hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, worked hard on it. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments if you tried out the Selb Slider 1916. Arguably the best gun in the game right now and, and undeniably, in my opinion, the best uh, medic weapon. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Winch here. I will see you on the battlefield.